so this is part two of replacing the light bulb in the niche on my pool light. So I've got the parts that came in from Bolt Depot and it's a silicon bronze um, bolt, quarter 20, along with some washers and a lock nut and a nut, or a lock washer and a nut. And this were 863 including shipping, which isn't really that, that expensive. So let me get the camera position and then what we're gonna do is put this back together and put this bulb here installed. And if you need this bulb, check the comments. There will also be a link to this part here. And you should replace this seal when you change the light bulb. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So first things first, we need to go ahead and put the new bulb in. You'll want to make sure the power is off, which I've I turned it off previously. And then we'll set that there. And next we'll change the seal. So you just want to peel this off. There is not a front or a back to it. And, you know, you might be able to reuse this, but they're just not that expensive. And it is the biggest cause of failure is a leaking seal. So you just want to press this back in here. And again, I'll have a link to this in the description in case you need one. And then it goes on here like that. So it just fits in this little lip. And now for the tricky part. We'll actually do this this way. Now, there's really not a right or wrong way to position this. I'm just being a little OCD. So at this point, I want to flip this over. Now, if you don't have a helper, you will need something to set this on. So, this will work just fine. Uh, actually, no, it won't. But this will. You just need to get this up, and uh, there's not that much space to work with. Oh, actually, I take that back. That was the wrong thing to do. This is really something that's easier with two people. A lot easier. And you should have taken the stuff out of the bag. This is a quarter 20 by three bolt. Alright, so now what I want to do is just make sure that this is on here nicely. And it's a 716th socket. 
and a 7 16 wrench. And basically, as you tighten this ring, it's going to cinch down on these levers and press the, the seal in. So I think, at that point, we're good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leak test it by submerging it. And what I don't want to see is a bunch of bubbles coming up, because that would mean water getting in. So I don't see bubbles coming up, so next what I'm going to do is go ahead and install it. And if I drop this, I'm going to go swimming, but hopefully I won't drop it. So let's kind of what I'm doing here. Alright, once it started, go ahead and use the screwdriver. Alright, now for the big moment, I'm going to turn the light switch on. I've turned the breaker on. It is a GFCI breaker, which is mandatory for safety reasons. And there you have it. That is the conclusion of that repair. And um, hopefully I won't have to replace the bronze screw next time in three, four, five, six years when this burns out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, this is something you can do yourself. Although if you want, you can hire a pool service company and they'll come out and do this for you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.